Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of the Isopod Vlog. This is going to be a special episode where we're going to feature one of our uh, isopods and also at the end we're going to do a shout out to a couple of hobbyists that really make an impact on this hobby. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. The Isopod Vlog. We're in the facility and this is one of six locations, had to count there for a second, six locations where I keep uh, isopods. Uh, this is our small containers, kind of pan out a little bit here so you can see. We have uh, our Solisticus convexus here in a couple of tubs. I started with one, it quickly became two, and now I have three different containers with these um, curly isopods. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these three containers, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and feed curly isopods and see which one they like the most. Let's go ahead and take a look at this very first tub here. I've got this little green mark on it, indicating that uh, we're getting uh, babies from the tub. And this is a good uh, example of how we have this set up. You can see some activity on the left-hand side there. Looks like they've really gone through their leaves uh, in this past few days. See if we can see any of these isopods. There's a handful. There's another real good group. And again, this was my original group. This uh, was purchased about seven months ago. Uh, we started with probably about 20 or so. You can see they're really, really, really taking off here. If I can get any kind of a little close-up going here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the other tubs. Okay, here's the second six-quart tub. And again, you can see they're really, really taking off here. Let's take a peek under this piece. You can see I have it fairly dry on this side, just as an example. And you can see they're scattering there as well. And then I have uh, probably probably about a quarter of the the uh, tub uh, moist with the sphagnum moss. Let's take a look at the third container. Here's our third tub. We set this up about. I think it was about three months ago with probably about two dozen or so of the curlies in here. And let me see if I can get a peek at a couple of them. Here's a little tiny colony. There's a little group here. And you can see this basic setup is the same as the other two in, uh, tubs. We've got the sphagnum moss covering about maybe 20%, 15 to 20%. Keeps it real moist, and the the rest of this uh, tub is is I wouldn't even say it's damp. It has a little tiny bit of moisture, but it's fairly dry. And obviously, at the the very back end here, this is fairly dry. Looks like they're going through their leaves pretty quick as well. A couple of, a couple of little little isopods here. These curlies. So all each one of these little pieces of wood has has a few. This cork bark, I think, has a good good sized colony going. Look at them scatter. So I like the fact that this this cork bark covers both the dry area and it also covers the the moisture area as well. All right, I've gone back over to the first uh, container here. Let me just lift up a couple of these. You can see this thing is just absolutely packed with these uh, curlies. I'm going to go ahead and find a piece of shrimp here. Decent size. I'm going to add the shrimp. Maybe I'll throw in two. Two pieces of shrimp. And I'm also going to add some bug burger. I think uh, 
for a food source, a lot of people use bug burgers. I think people are using shrimp as well. I'm going to go ahead and test this out to see if one of these two foods is preferred over the other one. Let's just move shrimp a little bit and we'll put the bug burger right in the middle and see if see if these curlies come out to one over the other one. I think we'll let this sit for probably a couple, three hours and see if there's uh, some difference in either one of these. Okay, we're coming back down and we're going to take a look at the food to see how much they've eaten. Hopefully they've eaten some of it. It's been, I want to say about three hours, so let's go ahead and take a peek. Let's see which one they, they prefer best. Again, we had the bug burger and the shrimp. So if you remember, we put both the sh two pieces of shrimp and the bug burger down, and it certainly looks like they ate everything. So not a real great test here. I, I guess we'd come away with the conclusion that they'll, they'll eat everything. Yeah, it, it's all gone. So um, my conclusion is that they're not very picky and, and they like a lot of food. So I'm going to go through again, uh, possibly in the next week or so, and maybe give this trial a, another test with more food and different uh, food items. We'll see what they like. I hope you enjoyed that previous segment on Solisticus convexus. That was a lot of fun for us to do. And now I'd like to introduce the first segment of Shout Out. This is a segment where I'm going to introduce a hobbyist or two in this video uh, that have an influence on the hobby. And the very first person that I would like to introduce in this segment is Laura May Ripple. Uh, she's the owner and operator of Smugbug. I'll go ahead and drop the description or the link to her website in the description below. In my personal opinion, Laura is probably the most influential person in the isopod community. There's a lot of great people working with isopods. But every post that I see on Facebook that has a question about isopod, Laura's in there answering questions and very detailed answers to these questions as well. I've purchased isopods from Laura in the past as well and had a great experience. Laura is also featured on the U.S. Invertebrae auctions. I'll drop that link in the description as well as she has some really unique isopods listed on those auction pages. If you have any questions whatsoever about isopods, either from a beginner standpoint an intermediate or advanced standpoint, make sure you go to Smugbug. Laura has great information on the page, as well as an excellent care sheet on Smugbug. And the second hobbyist that we're featuring in our shout out segment here is Elijah Lee of East Coast Power Cichlids. He features a lot of aquarium fish on his YouTube channel, especially cichlids, which is a passion that I had many, many years ago and, and the flame still flickers. Elijah does a great job of covering those fish in his videos. But he's also gotten into isopods recently and really become enthusiastic about the hobby, as a lot of us have. Elijah really shows the enthusiasm of keeping these isopods, and it's really a blast to see his unboxing of isopods in his videos. So keep up the good work, Elijah, and we look forward to your next unboxing. Again, if you have somebody in mind that you'd like featured in the isopod vlog as a shout-out hobbyist, please leave a comment below, and we'll take a look at them. Thank you again, everybody, for watching, and you know the routine. Hit the like button below if you like the, the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.